Good morning, happy Wednesday. So I have some amazing coaching calls lined up um, today, but before I hop into all of those, I wanted to just hop in to this amazing group called the Whatever It Takes Life. And if you, this is, I think, being streamed a couple places. So if you are catching this on my stories and you are not a part of this amazing community, the Whatever It Takes Life group, come find us. But if you are in this group, drop a comment below, let me know that you are here. And I wanna talk for just a second because this is something that just keeps coming up in the conversations that I'm having is in these seasons of financial struggles or financial lack or lack in some area, lack in a relationship, lack in connection or community, there's a lack in your life. What do you do? And how are you in that situation? So for a lot of us in those moments, we shut down. We shut down and we go to this place of this is what it is. This is just how it is. We say these phrases, right? And one of the things that has occurred to me is over the years, I have learned and I'm sharing stories. I'm gonna share some stories with you from my own journey for the purpose of letting you know that you too can rise to this. I'm no different than you. I maybe have just learned how to be in a circumstance in a way that maybe you've not learned how to be yet. And you've probably done the same in your life and can teach me that thing. So I'm gonna share some personal stories with you just about in a season of lack, how I learned to be in that moment that actually set me up to live a whatever it takes life in so many ways. And so um, how are you in lack right now? And how are you with it? It will determine and set you up for how you are in the future when hard times come. And one thing for me, I remember uh, my husband lost his job. We had just moved our family to Nashville. We had lost one job. We ended up losing that job 16 months later in 2008 when the economy crashed. And it was just this horrible season. If you are joining me in the Whatever It Takes Life group, drop a comment below. I would love to see who is on, see who is here. Um, I will make sure that I can see this. Here we go. Okay, I can see if you're here, so drop a comment. Um, and in that season of lack, we literally ate beans and rice nearly every meal. We were living out of our church's food pantry. You probably heard me tell some version of this story, but we were rationing toilet paper to our children. Literally, I was like, you can only have four squares because there is just not enough. We got to the place where we were using rags. There was rags stationed at every single toilet around our house because that was water's cheaper, right? And so in that season of lack, I remember asking myself, what can I do? And I was overwhelmed like anybody would be, overwhelmed with the pressure, overwhelmed with fear. But instead of letting myself go to this place of this is what this means, this is what most of us do in seasons of lack or struggle or hard times, we make that moment mean something. And it means X, that's all it means to us is, so for example, in that season, we lost a job, it means, it means, we're not gonna be able to pay our bills. It means we're never gonna get out of this debt. It means whatever. We give meaning, which is usually a singular linear meaning. We give meaning to this hard thing. And when we do that, we actually shut ourselves down to living the whatever it takes life. We shut ourselves down to being a whatever it takes person because we can't see possibilities. And so in that season for me, instead of saying, it means we're going under. It means we're not gonna be able to pay our bills. It means I'm gonna be eating beans and rice and rationing toilet paper for the rest of my life. I started to ask myself, what else could it mean? What else is true? What else could be possible? And all I want you to think about today is in these seasons of maybe financial lack for yourself, what else is possible? Are you somebody today that, that when those hard times come, you see a problem and you see it as the, here's a problem, but there's a possibility lying within this problem. And from the time I was little, I have looked at problems as something to be solved, something that there, there's more possibilities that live within that problem. And so not allowing myself to get totally wiped out, shut down, and just taken out by the problem because inside of the problem is always a possibility. And that is how you learn to live in a season of lack is what else is true? What else is possible inside of this problem? So for me in that season, I was like, okay, 
there's this thing called Craigslist. This was before Facebook Marketplace. And I began listing all of our items in our downstairs on Facebook Marketplace. And our house literally looked like we were moving. The couch left, the, the dining room table left, all these things left. And I remember when our kitchen table left. Um, we sold the kitchen table and I actually sold the kitchen table, not just to pay the bills. I was selling all these other things to pay the bills, but then, and our kids loved it. We had a gymnast. She thought it was the coolest thing ever. She was doing somersaults and flips and I, it just helped me realize, oh my gosh, like that, like, again, I'm so attached to life needing to look this way and be this way every day of every season. And right now it's a season, it's a season of lack. And if I see it as a possibility, what are the possibilities? Well, the possibilities are I have just sold all this stuff, we've paid bills, and my kids think we have the most amazing house ever because there's like no furniture and they can do flips and run around and play hide and seek and chase through our house all day long. <laughs> that was fun. And then somewhere along that journey in those months of lack for us, I was presented with an opportunity to do a business, a network marketing business, as many of you do. I know many of you in the Whatever It Takes Life, drop a comment below if you own your own business, you work a business from home, you're a photographer, realtor, or you have a network marketing business. I uh, was already doing a network marketing business, dabbling on the side, but I was presented with the opportunity to really take it to the next level to really decide if I wanted to make this thing a full-time income. In order to do that, there was a cost, right? There's a cost for us to build our dreams and to go to the next level. And when what's so crazy about our lives is that oftentimes it's in those deepest seasons of lack, we're presented with an opportunity to go to the next level. It's when we're like, oh my gosh, there's no money even for food and toilet paper, let alone to invest in a business, or maybe you've been presented with the opportunity to go the next level in your life and you're being called to invest in counseling or coaching or a workshop or something and you're looking at it going, I don't even know how, or you're struggling with your weight and you have been presented with an opportunity of somebody that can help you but there's a financial investment and all you can see is the lack I can't do that. I can't get the life that I want and long for because I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this lack and it's not true, friend. You can live and build and create this whatever it takes life by looking at the problem and seeing a possibility. And so for me, I looked around and was like, okay, this is what is potentially the vehicle to take us to that next level life, the next level in our finances at that point. And what do we have to do? Whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get there. And so I sold our last table. I sold our kitchen table. And we got the products in the box that it came in. And thankfully, it came in this massive box because I bought such a big kit. It came in this massive box that we emptied out. And I was like, oh, ding, 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 bright idea. This is our new kitchen table. We flipped the cardboard box upside down and that was our kitchen table. <laughs> Me and our girls were so little. They were five, three, and Asher was in a little, you know, he was in his high chair. And we just sat around crisscross applesauce, right? On, on the floor around this cardboard box. And the kids thought it was hilarious. They thought it was cool. They never thought twice about it. And I would have these twinges of like, oh my gosh, am I providing the life for them? Of, oh my gosh, like, what am I teaching them? What I was teaching them is that in moments of lack, you do whatever it takes. You invest, you don't stop investing. You actually invest more and you find a way to do it. And out of it comes even more possibilities. So those problems for us turned into the greatest possibility of our life. We took that little investment, that kitchen table. Tables are non-negotiable, right? So are negotiable, I mean, and so are couches. You can always buy another one. <laughs> so with the next month's earnings, because of that investment, I went garage sale shopping. I went across the street, I saw a sign, and I saw a $15 table. I purchased that $15 table with some of the earnings from my business that I just invested in, and I grabbed some spray paint, and I, I spray painted this table, and I distressed it, and thus began my furniture on the side furniture business. I started doing this. I started finding ways to go to garage sales, grab $5, $15 items, painting them. I learned a technique of distressing them and I would flip them and sell them. So all of a sudden my problem 
turned into not only a possibility for one business, it turned into a possibility for another. I didn't know how much I loved it. It was amazing. I'm over here building this one business, but I would paint furniture in my free time because it was just this total reset fun thing for me. I could see the transformation, the beginning and the end. And I still to this day, this was, I don't know, this was back in 2007, eight, how many years ago, 14 years ago, I still to this day paint furniture, flip it and sell it. I have some pieces in my garage and now my 17 year old is doing it. That's what she does for her winter business. Instead of pressure washing, she goes, she finds cheap furniture in garage sales and she flips it and she's learned there is always a possibility inside of a problem. And I just want to encourage you friend that you have no idea. It's easy to get to the top. It's easy to then for me to get to the top of a company and look back and be like, oh yeah, hindsight's 2020, right? It always shows us all these amazing things. But what if you could, you could back it up before you're at the top or before you're out of the pain or before you're out of the problem and you can become that person in that season of lack that can learn to see the possibility inside of the problem. I guarantee you if you do that, you will up level your whatever it takes life. It will go to the next level, whether this is in your finances, which is what we're talking about right now, um, or in relationships or in your personal life, this same principle applies. And fast forwarding through that, I mean, I did end up being able to get furniture again. You know, it was such a temporary problem. And I'm not gonna lie and say that there weren't, there was all these like, yeah, like we think sometimes living the wit life, we're like, yeah, this is amazing, I love this. I hated it, I cried, it was so hard. I cried the most whenever this rug like this dang dining room rug left. And I remember because it was kind of rare and it was something that was unique and I felt like it was just like special. I remember crying when it left and it was like, why am I so attached to this dining room rug? But I feel like it was also all encompassing to just the season, watching one thing after another leave my house. So there's tears. It's hard. I'm not saying that there's not fear. Feel all the feelings. That's a whole nother discussion for another day of how healthy it is. Do the work around your emotions. Don't stuff them. But if you can allow yourself to not be shut down in those moments with fear, with anxiety, those things are getting you out and taking you further and further and further away from living the whatever it takes life. And so friend, if you can look at your problem today and see a possibility, that is gonna be what's help, helping you through that season of lack. If you have something you wanna share below, I would love for you to drop a comment. Tell me about maybe a season that you have been in of lack where you saw yourself rise up and out of that problem came incredible possibilities for you. I'm not even just talking about who you become on the other side, or all the amazing things that happen. I'm talking about in that moment, what are the possibilities that you were able to look around and see instead of living that linear life of giving just like singular meaning to this moment. I lost a job, it means we're gonna be bankrupt. I lost this, it means. What other meaning can you give your problem right now? And if you need help, drop a comment below. And these women, let's give some feedback. Let's brainstorm and, and mastermind around that for you so that you can begin to see new possibilities that live within your problem. All right, friend, I am off to do some amazing coaching with an incredible group of women, uh, whatever it takes life women that are doing a group coaching program I have. Meet with them every Wednesday. I love you all, friends, and can't wait to chat with you more soon.